Hey guys, John Luxy here, back with a new blind playthrough. This is Hollow Knight. So this was actually gifted to me by Jocko Lantern. Thank you, man. I really do appreciate it. Um, I noticed... I noticed... Well, hang on. So I had, I kind of played with the settings a little bit. I enabled the controller. But I, I noticed these down here as well, above the version number. Um, and I think those are related to these which are like I clicked on one of these and it's free content pack number one so I guess we've gotten some updates with new bosses and new music um new other stuff I haven't looked through all this I just looked at this one kind of briefly I don't know what these are just updates extra stuff free DLC basically um so this was released actually only five years ago, back in 2017, which is a little surprising. I thought it would be more than that, um, you know, older, older than that. Um, but I will say, I don't know, I actually don't know very much about the game. I assume there's a story. I know it's a Metroidvania and like, you know, it's supposed to be really, really hard. You know, similar to Dark Souls, Demon Souls, whatever, Soulsborne style games, but um, I saw a clip of The Passage of Pain, where you basically can't touch the ground, otherwise you suffer instant death. Um, and that is a little bit too much, too much for me. Um, I mean, who knows? We'll see. Um, I did kind of go through some of these. I didn't know about these backer credits and achievements. I'm just going to leave those as both off because backer credits is like Kickstarter people. And I assume like you go in and it's like a boss and probably just a person's name above their head or something. And as I'm kind of looking to be immersed, I'm going to ignore that achievements. Same thing. Normally I don't mind, but in this case, I'm just like, eh. These were both off by default, so, you know, that's fine. Uh, audio, I haven't actually played with this with it as much. This is actually as far as I've gotten. Like, when I did my little test recording, I'm like, well, let's hope it's good, right? So if it's too loud, um, I'm going to try and keep an eye on the levels, but if it gets too loud, you might not be able to hear me. And I'll uh, maybe maybe play with that as we go. I guess all this stuff is good. I have no idea. Controller, obviously, we're gonna, we're gonna, I'm gonna try and use a controller because it seems like the type where lots of achievements. Um, seems like the type of game that controller would be more better, more, more better, right? Um, I don't know if the analog how much the analog is. I know I have dead zones developing on my little thumbsticks and there's drift. So uh, that got me killed a couple times in that, um, in that, uh, not Persona, in that Shin Megami Tensei platformer, the one where you're the Jack Frost guy. It uh, forced me to walk off ledges a couple times into instant death, but hopefully that won't happen here. We shall see. Um, What else do I know about the game? Just in, in the interest of full disclosure. I watched a... What's the guy's name? I was gonna say Matthew Matosis. I think he might have done one. I don't... But it wasn't him. It was... Mer Meryl? Neryl. Neryl. He did a video, several videos about all these different multi... Uh, Metroidvanias, and this was one. I don't remember if I skipped that section or not. I don't think so, but I think at one point he said he fell into this pit that basically screws you because it drops you all the way down to like the bottom of the map. Similar to, um, now that I'm thinking about it, similar to Castlevania Symphony of the Night. There's something like that where you fall into the bottom, like the basement of the castle, and the only way to get back up is by beating several bosses, and I imagine it's the same way here. Um, 
we shall see. We should maybe that maybe that was deliberate on this part to be like an homage to that. Um, also, that's really all I know about the game. I know it's really hard, and as a result of that, I'm probably gonna whine and complain the whole time because that's what I'm good at. So don't don't if you really like this game, don't take it personally. That's just kind of it's. <laughs> Uh, okay, let's do this. I'm kind of, I'm kind, of, I'm kind of uh, avoiding hitting the start button because I don't know how brutal this game's gonna be. Um, yeah. Also, if it gets too loud and it drowns me out, well, I apologize. That kind of, I've been a little bit more. Uh, what's the word? Ever since Shadow of Mordor, which did that. Um, I've been a little bit more careful, but I haven't wanted to spoil myself on this one, so let's start. Oh, I didn't expect there would be multiple save files for whatever reason. All right, let's adjust slider until the frames touch the edges of the screen. Oh, oh yeah, all right. Well, I mean, yeah, I think we're... I mean, yeah, we're, we're good. Adjust brightness to your desired level. That looks fine, actually. I, uh... Uh... Although... 100 is probably okay. I know this seems like a weird thing, but it really depends on your... your setup. Uh, for example, Dead Space, the original is way too dark, even at the preferred levels. And it also depends. It depends on your TV. It depends whether you're playing it on a computer monitor. Uh, it depends on if you have a uh, projection, right? You're using, like I actually hooked it up to, when I was in the military, hooked it up to like an overhead. And because projectors are rated on contrast, the contrast of the bulb, it could still be too, too dark, even at your your actual setting, so, um, you know, it's just something you have to play with, but this is a pretty decent computer monitor, and it's, the game is, it's a computer game, it's not a console game, it's not, it's designed to be on computers, not on TVs necessarily, so, this is probably good, we'll see. By the way, presentation so far, phenomenal. In wilds beyond, they speak your name with reverence and regret. For none could tame our savage souls, yet you the challenge met. Under palest watch, you taught we changed. Base, base instincts were redeemed. A world you gave to bug and beast as they had never dreamed. From Elegy for Hallownest by Monomon the Teacher. See, I had to read that fast. I'd like to actually read it again, but I, you know, to kind of let it sink in, but... What is this? Uh oh, ancient evil? Yes. Three. See, I thought those were eyes, but I looked at them and they almost looked like faces, right? Because one had two eyes, one had like six eyes. And this is weird, because it's like we're... we're bugs? And this is way more... like, I didn't even consider the fact that it had a story until I was about to start the video, and I'm like, wait, is there a story to this? Um, right, there's supposed to be bugs, I think, but... In the... Okay, presumably that's our life. In the, uh, if you look at the picture, right, um, especially, like, more detailed ones, it looks like his eyes are empty sockets. And hollow night, right? Like, he's empty. Like, they're, they're bugs, but 
maybe they're not actually bugs, maybe they're... Like the... Like empty armor, right? Like possessed suits of armor, where it's just the suit of armor, but nothing's inside. Maybe that's what these guys are. I know that seems weird, but... Given the fact that we saw the chained up husk, and then the light inside it glowed... Although, why would you have the chains allegedly binding it anyway? But but regardless. Um, Alright, so let's, let's... Ooh... Ooh, okay, that feels good. Wow, yeah, I like I like that. The panning don't like that so much. I know that's really weird, but oh, jeez, I didn't even realize we could go that way. Let's look at some of the uh, some of the. Okay, let's play with the, some of the buttons. Right, so this is start, continue, options, quit to menu. Inventory. I don't know what this is. Or that. I guess that's sockets of what's going to get filled in. Because this is a Metroidvania, right? We're supposed to have a map, which I assume is maybe in the middle or something. Okay. Old Neil, press X. That's your attack. Traditional weapon of hollow ne hollow nest. Its blade is blunt with age and wear. Focus collected soul to repair your shell and heal damage. Strike enemies to gather soul. That's not soul. That's Geo. See, I assumed... I could have sworn someone had said this was like Dark Souls where you drop your, your currency when you die. I believe that was the complaint that Neryl had when he fell down into whatever. Because he was like, you need... You need currency to save, and when you die, you lose all your currency, and so he got stuck or something where where he fell down and he couldn't get back up and he couldn't advance. Something like that. Geo, the currency of Hallow Nest made from fossilized shells, fossiled, fossiled shells of various forms, can be traded for goods or used as toll in various old mechanisms. Interesting. Focus, hold B, focus, collected soul to repair your shell, strike enemies together, soul. Okay, that's jump. A is jump. And you can't hold it, you can only do single attacks, maybe. And I can't focus yet. Um. Oh! Oh, this is the Geo. It's like a rock covered. Ooh, yeah. It's like a rock covered in, in Geo. We can hit the wall. And the fact that it clings mean uh, there's going to be breakable walls. Metroidvania, right? Okay, so what do some of the other buttons do? Okay, so the all four of the triggers and the right buttons, right triggers, they do nothing so far. Um, so far, the only buttons that do anything are the pause, the inventory. Um, you can use the right thumbstick to look up and down, which I'm sure that's important. Can I wall jump or anything? Oh, okay. How long you hold down the jump is how high you jump. I mean, that makes sense, but not all games have that. And then, I think I mentioned it, but holding the attack button appears to do nothing so far, and it doesn't appear like you can really combo yet. As a, uh, I don't know if it's really a complaint, but just, I felt like being nitpicky and looking at the feet as they move, because you can hear his the pitter-patter of his feet. Maybe it's only his left or right foot. Maybe only one of his feet makes noise. Like, <laughs> I know it's stupid. It's stupid. Um, everything else, initial, initial thoughts, looks great. Um... 
the... I love the cartoony look. I like how clean it looks. I didn't like in the intro how when it showed him... There was like... It looked like his outline looked like a sketch, if that makes sense. Like it wasn't a single line. It was like multiple strokes for each line and they were they were not all clean um almost like old school cell animation i i didn't really like that for whatever reason um because this looks way better in my mind but that's that's just me um it's yeah it's the look is really nice. It's like an undead bug sort of thing, if that makes any sense. And we have the sort of, uh, the walls, like they're made of dead shells of giant insects. Like that's, like it's really great. It's like this weird, like you start off and, and you're sort of kind of like the intro to uh, Star Wars The New Hope where it shows the, um, you know, the first like minute where it shows the rebel ship running from the, the Star Destroyer and you have like the giant Star Destroyer against this like tiny rebel ship with Princess Leia on it. That's how this feels. It's like we are this tiny little person alone in this giant hostile world where we are overpowered right although the legend that it started with tells us that we're gonna overcome these challenges yeah like this is vision right it feels like there's a really solid vision to the game so far um which i really appreciate even if you know as as much as i'm gonna whine later and i will <laughs> I will. Um, yeah, it, it's solid so far. So do we... How does this work? I assume we hit the doors to open them. Yep. And even the doors look like bug stuff, right? Really smooth animation also. I noticed in the hostel... Ooh... Oh, that's got to be our, what is that noise? Is that another enemy? Is it getting louder? So the upper left has to be our soul. I assume the, the faces are the hit points, right? But the the ball that's filling up, that's got to be soul. And then you, once it's full, you can focus, use the, you hold down the B button to use, uh, probably to heal, probably heal one point. But look how smooth that is. Is it going to fall in the thing? No, they turn around. Can I attack down? Hold A to jump. Well, okay. See, now it's white. Oh, oh, I did use some of it. Crap. Well, all right. You know what? It's fine. I'm testing stuff out. This is... Wait, what was that? The dust? Does this... Wait, what was that? What did I break? Interesting. Well, okay. All right, cool. But no, uh, no wall jumping yet. I assume there's gonna be, if I'm remembering the passage of pain, well, it doesn't matter anyway. Oh, we have eyes on our, uh, on our soul meter now. Oh man, look at the light change. Like we come in here and the sort of the room gradually fades out and then it fades in 
Then we go in here and it gradually fails. That's freaking beautiful. And there's more up. There's more up above us. You know that there is. Right, so this is... You know, minor, minor tutorial section, making sure that you know how to jump and all that. I love the dust coming down. And the spikes don't hurt us yet. Is there any benefit to breaking these things? Oh! Well. Okay, so. Be concerned. What is... Yes, I saw the circle and I'm like, what is that? Inspect. Okay. Higher beings, these words are for you alone. Your great strength marks you amongst us. Focus your soul and you shall achieve, achieve feats of which others can only dream. Collect soul by striking enemies. Once enough soul is collected, hold B. Hold B to focus soul and heal. Cool. I think I'm good for now. Does this, does this fade out? Yes. That's an enemy. Was that what I was hearing? What was the little poopy sound at the end there? Oh, and you can move and slice at the same time. Cool. Now do we go up? Or do we go to the left? Ah! Spikes are bad. And there's some sort of thing above us. Ah! Oh. Oh. Wait. Is that considered like an instant death? Or, or what? I see. I know it's... I was expecting there to be more of an arc. I know that sounds weird, like... But you literally only move forward while you hold forward, even if you jump, like you just kind of stop in place. I'm used to like an arc where you jump, right? So you jump and you have to like, then do a, maybe a double jump to correct your trajectory or whatever. So. That's going to be something hard to unlearn, I think. But we'll see. Right, so I don't know what the deal is with this. Hold B to focus. Right, well, I'm not going for the money. I see. What happens if I use more of it? Oh, it, it will let you waste it. Well. Oh, money. Oh, ooh, yeah. Yeah, baby. All right, so yes, it will let you waste your focus. Um, and it appears that right... Oh my god, why did I do that? All right, so when it's white, you can use some. When it's white, it's like... So far, it looks like about... We have three. About three hits worth of focus, right? At thirds. One third, it turns white. Two thirds, there's the eyes, presumably, and it, then it's full or whatever so okay well and I assume these things disappear after a minute maybe they don't let's sit and watch for a second right I know I know it's been like 20 25 minutes almost and we're still in, like, two screens in, three screens in, whatever. That's... I'm cool with that. I'm a little bit slower paced than other people. Um, hopefully that doesn't bother you guys. If it does... I guess I'm not really going to apologize. You're welcome to watch any... Um, you know... You're welcome to watch any other Twitch streamer or YouTuber or anything like that. And some are really good, but... But at least for me, I, I, I can't. I just can't. The, uh, hmm. <sighs> I 
I tried watching. I've tried watching people, and I understand it's the thing. It's it's how you become popular on Twitch, is you appeal to. I you know I'm not using it as a pejorative, but Zoomers, right? People with short attention spans, because they constantly need people to talk and stuff. And and I I'm that way too. Like I'm not I'm not knocking it. I have a short attention span as well, but. But when I watch Let's Plays, I want to watch it for uh, sort of the the emotional response of the, the Let's Player or, or the streamer or whatever. So, you know, I was trying to watch some Subnautica videos um, of a guy that was playing it for the first time. And he just would not shut up. And nothing... You know, it was constantly like, oh, this and oh, that. And, oh, oh, hey, chat, what's blah, 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 blah. Like, nothing really... Like, he wouldn't let anything sink in. You know, and, and I might be too far in the other direction where I'm a little bit more like freaking Eeyore or something. Like, all right, guys, let's move on to the next room here. Oh, yeah, we're going. Oh, here it comes. Or, you know, I might be I might be too slow, but whatever. It's it's just, you know, whatever you whatever you want. You know, you're not whatever you want, but whatever I'm really surprised these things don't disappear. I really thought they would. But I appreciate it. Um Yeah, I you know, I I like to take it in and, and let the emotion breathe a little bit rather than just like oh oh move on move on so you know i'm not saying it's bad if that's your thing if that's you know those of you that are watching that aren't interested in my stuff that's fine you know there there are plenty of good people out there right and i enjoy them too sometimes but you know it's uh ooh, what is this Interesting. I got to see like the little growth or the glow of the soul thing. All right. So this is something. Ooh, I didn't. All right. Do I touch them? Oh, weird. They're like. They're like soul hearts in Binding of Isaac. I assume, well, yeah, they're temporary. Now, do they disappear after over time or are they just like free hits? This is a boss room, isn't it? Oh, oh, whoa, baby. I just got lucky falling in here. I was running back as soon as I saw the floor crumble and it, you know. Okay, well, I, oop, something tells me I could not have made it to the other side, but you never know. Oh, good, more spikes. See, what is down there? Is that where I came up already? Oh, and you can see the other, the, the ones that are gonna fall, right? Now the question is, oh, I can fall over there. Can I just go past them, right? Okay, well, uh, pretty sure I can't jump that far. Should I try it? What if I can? No, I can't. Let's try it. Oh my god, I don't want to. No. Pretty far. Pretty far, but not far enough. Got it, we break this thing. Will it... Right, this is where we need to find out. Will it hurt us if it collapses on us? No.
All right. Higher beings, these words are for you alone. Beyond this point, you enter the land of king and creator. Step across this threshold and obey our laws. So are we an outsider to whatever area this is? Bear witness to the last and only civilization, the eternal kingdom, Hallow Nest. The last and only civilization. And you have a giant door that looks very majestic, except it's crumbling and light shining through it. Light shining through it as if it's like, hey, we're 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 fabulous, right? But also we're a civilization that's falling apart. It contrasts with the the blue. Like there's one tone, basically. It's like black and white and everything else is blue or shades of blue. Like, why doesn't it open, though? Like, why do I have to break the door down? I'm such a badass, it just, like, explodes. But it's dark in here, too, and the wind is just howling. And then we fall. Uh-oh. Yep, this speaks boss to me. Crumbled bridge pieces behind me and around me. Oh god, what is that in the background? Looks like a giant freaking mouth. I don't think it's supposed to be, but... Alright, we have a lamp. That's awesome, you can cut the grass. Wait, I'm walking now. See, here we're running. Then all of a sudden you walk... Dirtmouth, the fading town. Eh? You spoke. Kind of. Hello, stay a while and listen. I didn't expect you'd hear anything. Ho oh, there, traveler. I'm afraid there's only me left to offer welcome. Our town's fallen quiet, you see. Is that a way of saying everyone's dead? Elderbug. The other res residents, they've all disappeared. Headed down that well. Sorry. One by one into the caverns below. Used to be there was a great kingdom beneath our town. It's long fell to ruin, yet it still draws folks into its depths. Like us? It's a bit mysterious why we're here. They don't really say. And also, where is here? I guess that probably makes, you know, is one of the reasons why it's similar to Dark Souls, where there is there is a story, but if you want to learn about, like, the lore and the history, you got to pay attention. Wealth, glory, enlightenment. That darkness seems to promise all things. I'm sure you, too, seek your dreams down there. Well, watch out. It's a sickly air that fills the place. Creatures turn mad and travelers are robbed of their memories. Like demon souls. Perhaps dreams aren't such great things after all. Many used to come, hoping the kingdom would fulfill their desires. Hallow Nest, it was once called. Supposedly the greatest kingdom there ever was, full of treasures and secrets. I didn't actually think he'd say anything the second time around. How long until we exhaust all this dialogue? Hmm. Now it's nothing more than a poisonous tomb full of monsters and madness. Hmm. Excuse me. Everything fades eventually, I suppose. Feeling tired? That bench may be iron, but I assure you it's quite comfortable. There's no better place to collect your thoughts before heading below. Right, benches are the save points. Plus, I enjoy the company. Not that you seem the talkative sorts. I don't even have a mouth. Like... <laughs> okay. Oh, and you can hold the A button to... Sort of fast forward the dialogue. Oh yeah, there you go. Rest. But real fast. I'm 93. Oh, I see. Right, right, right. See, it shows our little container in the middle. 
I bet we can upgrade that. Hmm. Hmm, excuse me. I'm sure we can upgrade our weapon and old nail, like a... I assumed it was a nail, like a, like a creature's nail, but it could be a nail as in like a... I'm sure it is like a creature's nail, not like a nail, like from humans. Uh, but yeah, I'm be betting we can upgrade both of these. Alright. Uh, right, 93. We have saved. We have about 25 minutes left. Let's go. Let's keep going. What is this? Inspect. For all your mapping supplies, we will be opening soon. Iselda and Cornifer. Right. You have to find a map for each area or something, right? I vaguely remember that. Oh, well. Um, okay, can I... Forgotten Crossroads. Great. How do I get out? Ascend. Oh, right on. What is this? A stone door with a simple lock. Well... So we need to find a key. Hmm. Well, okay, so that's cool. So you can fall, but there's a chain for you to climb up. Um, which is how you, which is how you get out, presumably. So, still no map. All right, what about this dude? I assume this dude is evil. So their corpses stay behind. That's kind of interesting. I thought about letting him touch me to see if, well, I guess to see if he's hostile, but the fact that he ran towards me like a zombie, and they already tell you. Though I get people have lost their minds below, so. What was that? Like some sort of carriage or something? I don't like the fact that that's a screen transition. Let's go back the other way. Or, well, which way? Gates with a head over it or, wait, what does this say? I don't know. Let's try going this way though. That's awesome, These all these little details, right? Those symbols above this door are the same symbols that were in the eyes of... Wait, is this a giant bug? That sealed up thing. What is this? Temple of the Black Egg. I bet we could talk to this guy. All right, so good to know. You can't, probably, probably you cannot attack NPCs. Right. Hello there, how delightful to meet another traveler on these forgotten roads. You're a short one, but you have a strong look about you. I'm Quirrell. I have something of an obsession with uncharted places. This ancient kingdom holds many fascinating mysteries, and one of the most intriguing of them is standing right before us. I'm sure that's the boss, the final boss, or something. Um, or... 
or probably those are the three lords or something like that, right? Kind of like Dark Souls, right? The like Nito and whoever the others were. I don't remember. Um, yeah, so talking to this dude makes me think there's going to be like in the Soulsborne series, like quests, NPC quests. I'm sure we'll find out soon enough. I just hope I don't screw it up like I did in Dark Souls 3, where I, <laughs> where I missed all of them, or, or like I did in uh, Salt and Sanctuary, where somehow I went through the game almost backwards and, and screwed up everything that way, because I went to an area somehow that you're supposed to go almost last and went sort of backwards through it like that. Anyway, a great stone egg lying in the corpse of an ancient kingdom. And this egg, is it warm? It certainly gives off a unique air. Can it be opened? There are strange marks all over it. I do so love a mystery, and who knows what other marvels lie even deeper below us. For so long, I felt drawn here. So many full tales full of wonders and horrors. No longer could I resist. I just had to see it for myself. And what a time I chose to arrive. This dead world has sprung to life. Is that because the... The evil... The evil one has awoken? Right? Like it was sealed or something? And everything died and now that the... Big bad has awoke, now everything's coming back? Or is it because people are... Being drawn in? Who knows? The creatures are riled up and the earth rumbles. The air is thick. I wonder what could have brought it all about. I don't know. What I do know is that me... I love, like, thinking about stuff like this. But usually, like, my greatest fantasies and stuff are... way better than what it... It usually turns out to be, like, kind of pedestrian and not super interesting. Um... You know, I just find that thinking about the stuff is generally more exciting than what the answer actually is. Still, I hope it's good. Nah, Minobis. To persevere in this ruin, that old nail alone just won't be enough. Though that's no problem. One only has to look around. Plenty have come before us, before us and most have met their grisly end. Many more equipped than you and I. I'm sure they wouldn't mind were a fellow explorer to relieve them of their tools. It's a kindness, really. The dead shouldn't be burdened with such things. Did you pass that town above? What a gloomy little place, and such majesty hidden right beneath. I suppose that's why they've all hidden down here. Who could resist such possibilities? Hmm. Truly a marvel. Hmm. Yep. The black egg, which is inside a giant corpse. Crazy. Well, I guess this, this brings up a question, which is, Oh, what's this guy? Is he gonna charge? Yep. He's probably faster, so you have less time to react to, to this one. Why the jumping? Oh. But I can't wall jump and I can't get up there. Why would I want to get up there? Man, there's, uh... A dinner table or something. I really expected, like... 
you know, a dead end before this, right? Uh-oh, what is that? Doesn't have red eyes. Uh-oh. Or... Okay. Oh, hey! Wow! Well... All right. Oh, Jesus! What is this? Hey, buddy. Um... You're welcome? I really worried for a second there. I was like, man, is he gonna... If I break his thing, is it gonna hit him as well? Thankfully, the answer is no. Okay, so that was... That was really neat. Right? The... The thing... The worm... Is like, hey, free me! Or, or something like that. And then I think it... Thanked me, sort of? It made a noise, and then it left. Um, what I want to do now is probably stop, but also I don't want to... I could heal. The enemies don't return. Yet. At least not from... Not from just going off screen, right? I assume they do respawn, probably, when you change zones. I guess, or maybe, maybe a couple screens away. But what I want to know is... How much... Oh, there was a little signpost with all the, the arrows. Um, I want to know about... Uh, the save point. What does it restore? Does it restore life? Does it restore focus? Does it restore all of the above? Yes. So there's no point in... If you're near a save point, there's no point in healing up with your focus. Um, let's stop here. I assume that's saved. Oh, really? You just straight up... It saves when you quit, automatically. Hmm. Then the question is, where does it save you? Where does it load you? Where you're at, or at the beginning of the screen, at the beginning of the zone? These are questions that I have. Um, anyway, guys, that is it for today. Thank you guys so much for your time and attention. Really do appreciate it. Really hope you guys are enjoying these episodes. I'm having a good time so far. I know I'm, I'm like nerding out and like kind of dissecting every little detail and stuff, but I don't, I don't mind. I, you know, I, mean, I hope you guys don't mind either. I'm a huge, um, I'm kind of a nerd in that way. Like I, I want to, I want to look at the stuff, right? Um, questions, comments, concerns, good, bad, or indifferent, um, let me hear them. I do read all of them. I try and respond to all of them. Although, if you're watching this on BitChute, unfortunately, I don't... It, it doesn't... I would love to respond there, and I used to, and then BitChute stopped notifying me for whatever reason. Uh, so, if you want me to respond or see your messages, you gotta leave them on, uh, on YouTube, unfortunately. At least until, you know, until they shut me out or something. Uh, which, who knows? But, um... But yeah, it usually takes me a couple days, though, because either I'm busy with work or I'm just lazy. One of the two. So, yeah, if I don't answer you right away, don't don't worry about it. It usually takes me a few days. Um, something I do like to do at the end of every episode is a unique positive moment. If you're new to my... First off, if you're new to my channel and you made it all the way here, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back. Um, I, uh, I do like to do a unique positive moment. Now... 
you're supposed to do three and you're supposed to write it down in a little book right before you go to bed or well write it down I suppose um, because what it's supposed to do is it's supposed to train your brain to deal with all of the negativity because everything's negative the news life all this stuff is negative and so our perspective changes and so we view things more in a negative way um, and what this is supposed to do is it's supposed to help make our perspective more neutral by focusing us on the positive positive. and the way you do that is by searching for unique positive moments and they're supposed to be unique like you can say this alcohol that I'm drinking right now or the coffee that I had this morning you can say that stuff but you can't use it constantly it's got to be unique you can use it rarely every once in a while um and so what it does is you're like well well crap what's what's good right and so you have to like search and that searching trains your brain over time to look for positivity um and that just makes you happier makes you more neutral you know rather than letting the negativity take hold so what is your guys unique positive moment for today uh for me i'm actually gonna say let's say the alcohol it's uh i finished up a bottle last night and i'm this is working towards finishing another bottle i'm trying to trying to get rid of all my alcohol and then i'll go dry for who knows who knows how long um just to see if to see how long i can do it i guess um but that's my unique positive moment hopefully yours is, is just as good if not better hopefully better of course and i hope to see you guys next time until then guys take care